Okay. We are C sharp studs. Welcome to our uh, our common controls tutorial for uh, Microsoft Visual Basic C sharp. Um, I'm here with my good buddy Garrett. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so, like I said, we're going to be going over common controls. So, Garrett, if you get the first slide, please. Okay. So, uh, first common control we have is a button. This is uh, something that you click on. Yep. And your button can do various things um, when you code it to, you know, you can code a button to do really think really anything. So, uh, they're quite versatile. Um, if you look at our example program, we have a button here, and there are some important properties that the button has. Um, the name is obviously um, an important one. <laughs> um, size is important. Um, the text that you assign to the button will actually be the property that shows up on the button when you run your program. So that's pretty pretty neat. Okay. So then we have the label. This is something that labels something. Okay. So a label is basically just um, a, a placeholder for a text. Um, Garrett, if you go ahead and show them what a label looks like. All right. Very nice. Um, you have your name, and that that's just the 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 name you'll use to reference it in code. Um, auto size, um, also your color, and um, your font. Your font property is what you'll use to change the size and obviously the font of uh, of your text. So, and then you have the text property, which is actually obviously the uh, the property that you'll change to change what the label says. Okay. So then we have, I believe, the picture box. So this is a box that holds a picture. Um, very true. Um, Garrett, go ahead and show them what that looks like. You'll have to uh, pardon all the noise. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, idiots interference in the, in the network. Yes, um, we're working on that. The more, uh, the more you guys like and subscribe to our channel, um, the more money we'll get from revenue to buy better equipment and uh, make better videos for you guys. So, yeah. Anyway, with that being said. Um, Here's a, here we have our picture box, and you can you can see uh, Corey in the house, in the picture box. So, Garrett, go ahead and show them how you uh, how you change the picture in the picture box. Sure. So you go to this little play button here, click choose image, and typically I import a local resource. And you can go in here and change it to whatever you want. I enjoy this because this is our uh, channel uh, icon here. So we're gonna go ahead and import that. And uh, yeah, you can change the side mode as well through this little drop down. Pretty cool, huh? So uh, yeah, that's about that's about all there is to that one. So uh, um, last but uh, well, definitely least, um, we have the list box. This is actually a boss box that lists things. It's pretty boring, but um, you can code um, a text box to probably with the use of a button. And a text box, you can code things that you type into a text box to show up in the list box, and it will just create a list as the name suggests. So, um, important properties there. You'll have your uh, your name, obviously, which we've explained multiple times. So you'll figure that one out. And then you have your font, which is, will be the font that shows up inside the list box. And then you you'll have your uh, your text property, I believe. Maybe not. Forget I said that. Anyway, we, uh, we are C sharp studs. Um, thank you for watching our. Um, thank you for watching our first tutorial. And uh, we'll we'll be back at you pretty soon here. Um, and again, thank you. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. So I love you. Goodbye.